facts first. This is CNN's new tagline. Now, I think that a more accurate tagline would be profits first because CNN is a corporation. Their goal is to do news in a way that attracts eyeballs to televisions because that attracts advertisers. So really, you know, being a news delivery resource is the secondary goal. Their number one goal is profits in spite of what they say. So oftentimes this leads to bias because there's this conflict of interest. And Bernie Sanders recently called out the bias in corporate media. And CNN absolutely did not like what he had to say about corporate media. And they said very bluntly, look, if you're going to call us out, where's the evidence? Um, I was a little surprised. Uh Kirsten, to hear Sanders say it himself, but it, it's not new to see his campaign really taking on the media without providing any evidence of bias. Mm -hmm. um, I think that you should be very careful about the accusations you make, and you better be able to back them up. Well, Bernie Sanders was not there to defend himself, but allow me to do that. So I actually do have evidence. In fact, I have a sadly hilarious example of CNN's bias getting in the way. So CNN Politics tweeted, fact check, Bernie Sanders is once again saying the U.S. spends twice as much on health care per capita as any other country in the world. It's a claim he has been making since at least 2009 when PolitiFact noted that it was false. It's still false now. And when you go to the article, they claim again that he's been making the same false claim for 10 years now. Now, here's why they say they rated this claim false. Facts first. It's still false now. The U.S. does spend the highest amount on healthcare per capita of any organization for economic cooperation and development country, but not double every single one. So the issue isn't necessarily that he was lying. The issue is that he wasn't being specific enough, because even if we spend double many countries when it comes to healthcare spending, we just don't spend double every single country. So the word every is really what's at issue here. It's a little bit misleading. And here's how they say he could have been more correct. Sanders could have accurately said the U.S. spends more than twice the average for OECD countries, which was an estimated 3,992 in 2018 and a firmer 3,854 in 2017. So <laughs> this is almost indistinguishable from his original claim. So what they're doing here is they're being overly nitpicky because they want to make Bernie Sanders look bad. This is what I'd like to call nuanced trolling. You pick out the details so that way if somebody doesn't word something very specifically, then you are able to attack them for it, right? And there are some instances where details absolutely matter. Very specific things can be an issue. But what he was saying here, uh, was that an issue? No. And what I love is that Bernie Sanders actually responded to this, and it's in the actual article. And he says, actually, we were referring to the average for OECD countries and noted that this was confirmed by CNN, who in January of this year published an article with the headline, U.S. spends twice as much on healthcare as its peers. Congratulations, you played yourself. But wait a minute. I thought that you said the United States doesn't spend twice as much as all of its peers. Underline all. That's a little bit misleading. And furthermore, if we want to be more technical, really, you know, it spends twice the average of OECD countries. So, I mean, what happened? Is CNN going to rate that headline false? <laughs> I mean, this is a joke. What a hilarious self-own. What they did was they tried to nuance troll in order to discredit Bernie Sanders, and they only ended up inadvertently discrediting themselves because they just demonstrated to us that they don't actually care about facts. They have an agenda, and they were banking on the fact that most people will only read the headline. They're not going to go any further than that. So they're trying to make it seem like Bernie Sanders is lying when he's not. And if we're being extra charitable here, they could have rated the statement from Bernie Sanders partially true, right? But instead, they just deemed the entire statement false when what he said was basically echoed in the CNN article. And Bernie Sanders pointed that out. It's in the fact check. I mean, this is just so embarrassing. So if CNN ever wonders 
why we think they're biased against Bernie Sanders and why they jump through hoops to discredit him at any chance they get. It's things like this that contribute to that narrative. So if you're not biased against Bernie Sanders, prove me wrong. Don't do things like this where you go out of your way to nuance troll in order to make him look bad, in order to make it seem like he's lying. Because by doing that, by banking on the fact that most people will only read the headline, you're actually spreading misinformation because we do spend double our peers. So if you want him to be more specific, then say you want him to be more specific and that his statement is, is only partially true. But they didn't do that. They wanted to make him look bad and now they were caught and they complain whenever we call it their bias. Unbelievable. CNN is garbage, and this is why everyone hates CNN and nobody takes them seriously. It's because of things like this. This isn't the only time they have revealed their bias. I mean, this is a corporate news outlet, so they don't care about the delivery of news. They don't care about facts. They care about profits, and they know that Bernie Sanders threatens the profits of their advertisers, which is bad for business, hence why they hate him, hence why they do things like this. You just have to put two and two together. It's that simple. Mike is a total loser. So don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.